Hey, thanks for watching, and this is the next video for Eclairn's Little Helper, and in this one we are going to kill the Possessed Priest. Now, when you first open the door, there will be a cutscene, and then the Possessed Priest will start maging you. Now, there is a method you can use to run to the east and west and essentially get the priest in a position where you can do diagonal. I'm not entirely sure how to do it. What I did with this one was I would go to him and use the dynamite on him, but it does have some issues where it will cancel out the dynamite if he is attacking you, which is kind of annoying about using dynamite on an NPC, is that you're, you have to do it timed right. In this case, I hit a two, I didn't get the poison, similar to the one in the last video. And then once his health regenerated, I went for another attempt. Now the next attempt, I, I think I actually did quite a few attempts of splashing. Again, I'm in full accuracy. I ended up going with the Kandaran head gear though, because it functions as a light source and you only get plus one range accuracy for the leather coal. So I'd rather not have to have the inventory of the lit candle from the Ardi Monastery. But yeah, so the second time I hit was a one. I always get a little bit nervous when you hit a one because the regeneration could potentially nullify the kill and you wouldn't get the kill credit. But I was lucky to be able to get the poison on this and... It felt really good because the last time I did this quest was literally years ago on a regular level three. And I believe I used recoils and everything. And the reason why I did it on a regular level three, I think it was on Papa Frank. So probably like eight years ago, but I wanted the toy mouse whip from, I believe it's a tale of two cats. And this quest was a requirement for that quest. So I'm not sure if I can get it on this account with this quest being done. Would be pretty cool if that's the case. Also, apparently contact, which is probably one of the hardest quests to do on an iron level three in terms of tick manipulation and recoils, etc., is I think a quest that requires this quest as well. So I wanted to get it done and I'm very happy that I did. As you can see, the poison is procking possessed priests down and eventually I'm going to get the kill, which is such a relief. Now, in terms of what you get from McLaren's helper, there really isn't anything major that I'm aware of in terms of like unlocks or anything like that. If you want to do pyramid plunder, it's definitely a viable method, even as a UIM, because we can get to Castle Wars and get to the super uh, anti-poison spawn spot pretty easily. And then getting back to there is pretty easy as well. And plus, if you have 91 plus uh, thieving, you can get gold seals, and if you have a Pharaoh Scepter, you can recharge it pretty easily. Yeah, I, I don't really have any other reason to do this quest other than just completion content, and I wanted to get every single thing I could get done with combat while working on fire making, since that seems like the most efficient thing to do. So there is the kill. Obviously, you can see the defense potion and the bones, which means I got the kill. And overall, I finished talking to the High Priest to complete this quest. A little bit of XP. I guess an Amulet of Catspeak might be beneficial for future quests. Reobtainable. And that's it. Hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one.